for more on the unusual storms. We're joined by Justin Povic. He's a meteorologist with AccuWeather. So, Justin, how unusual is all this snow and ice? After all, we are in February. We are, and to put this into perspective, it's the cold, it's the ice, it's the snow. Looking at Oklahoma City, well, this morning, just to give you a specific number, 14 degrees below zero. That was the second coldest on record, and you would have to go back to 1899 when it was colder, minus 17 degrees, February 12th, 1899. And then we talk about the snow, Oklahoma City, typically to this point in the season, six inches. We've already had 18 inches, and well, more's on the way. And what about this North Carolina tornado? Left three people dead, a lot of destruction. Was that also part of the same weather pattern? Well, you know, we, we had the cold side of the storm with uh, bitterly cold temperatures well below zero, the ice and the snow. And then we also had a very energized east side of the storm. And that's where your winds were coming up from the south and also the southeast. And you had your showers, your thunderstorms. And unfortunately, the severe weather that did lead to that uh, dangerous tornado. All right. So when are we going to thaw out? I mean, goodness gracious, uh, we need some warmth. We need some sun. We're done with the ice. We definitely need to warm things up. Now, there's one more system we are going to be following as we go throughout the next couple of days. And as we uh, look to the snowfall, this is again going to be impacting Oklahoma, northern Texas, portions of Arkansas, southeastern Missouri, where Oklahoma City again can see several inches of snow. Dallas, you could see another two to four inches of snow. And then this slides its way north and east into portions of the northeast later on Wednesday night into Thursday. Now, behind this system, we're not finished with the cold yet. In fact, there could be more record low temperatures Thursday night into Friday night. But then, finally then, here by the weekend, we'll start to see the pattern changing. And that will allow, again, the jet stream that carries all the wind with it to come in more from the Pacific. That Pacific jet stream typically brings some milder air. We'll start to see those temperatures going back up. It will take some time. But in Dallas, by later on this weekend, you'll likely see your temperatures going into the 40s and then the 50s. And that is going to definitely feel a whole lot better. Oh, we can't wait for that. Not just in Texas, in other parts of the country, too. Justin Povic, thank you so much.